a very good morning a very good morning to class 6 student class 6 student now this one is the computer period so computer chapter we are in the chapter more on windows 10 so now we have done the true and false we have done the true and false mcqs we have done the matchups we have done now moving forward to the question and answer moving forward to the question and answer the first one name the four type of media <coughs> name the four type of media that window media player can handle window media player can handle name four type of media you have to tell the types of media that window media player can handle so the four types of media player which um, media can handle so you have to go to the page number this one is the page number 21 first of all download music and online store you have to buy a download a song from the internet and place it in your music folder the wm wmp window media player automatically st stocks its library with the latest edition it starts window media player click on start button window media windows accessories window media player then go to this an empty media player open up to add music files to the library click and organize you have to organize all the musics right organize organize manage manage libraries so then what do you have to do the pop-up menu list automatically what had happened the pop-up menu list appears the four types of media how many types of media the question is name the four type of media that window media player can handle the pop-up menu list of four types of media that wmp wmp can handle window media player can handle music videos pictures and recorded tv so the answer is the four type of media that window media player can handle music videos pictures and recorded tv so this one is the answer of first question now moving forward to the next one now moving forward to the next one the next question is what are the two options that appear when we copy file to the cd which are two options that appear when we copy file to the cd when we are going to copy a uh, copy a file from a cd uh, which which are the two options that appears in front of us so we have to follow that one so we have to tell the name of that particular options so the options are when we copy a two options that appear we copy a file from cd so we have two options the first one autoplay dialog box or type uh, title for the cd by default uh, by default what happened the current date appears at the title who had two options this type of two option these are two option like a usb flash drive with a cd and dvd player these are the two options this type like a usb the two options that appear when we copy files to the cd jab hum file se cd mein copy karte hain tab ye tab ye do options aate hain these two options appear in front of you the options are like a usb flash drive save edit and delete files on the disk anytime the disk will work on computer running window xp or later then the second one is with a cd or dvd player burn file in group 
and individual file can be edited or removed after burning the disk will also work on most computers so like a usb flash drive like a usb flash drive this is this method lets you read and write files to disk many time which is a very convenient way which is very convenient way and we can use disk as portable files carries unfortunately this method is not compatible with some cd or dvd players connected to home stereo or tv so like usb flash drive so two options first of all is like a usb flash drive then the second one is with cd or dvd player with cd or dvd player how it comes this help you to play your disc on any cd or dvd player comfortable first point let us select the second option of with cd or dvd player the file explorer open up with an empty folder of cd or dvd drive drag drag and drop the file in this empty space or copy and paste the file here after you have placed the files that you want to burn to the cd clicked on the share tab of the file explorer so these are the four points so how many options like usb flash drive with a cd or dvd player which are two options that appear when we copy files to the cd why is it then the next question moving forward to the next question the next question is why is it said that we burn a cd why is it said that we burn a cd why is it said that we burn a cd copying data from a computer to a cd is called burning cd first of all all of you you have to memorize this line that copying copying means whenever you are going to copy a data from a computer to a cd is called burning cd writing content in a compact disc writing content in a compact disc or digital video disc is known as burning writing content in a compact disc or digital video disc is known as burning of cd or dvd or cd oblique dvd drives use laser beam to burn the information into the cd oblique dvd hence it is termed as burning to burn information into a cd follow given steps which steps you have to follow to burn a cd means you are going to copy you are going to copy a information from cd to computer computer to a cd so the steps are the auto play dialog box appear automatically what had happened auto play dialog box appears and then after type a little uh, type a title of the cd by default the current date appears at the title all of you know that this one is the current date we have two options two options right now here you have seen there are two options like a usb flash drive with a cd and dvd player so like usb flash drive this method lets you read and write files to disk many times which is very convenient way and we can use we can use disk as portable file carries unfortunately this method is not compatible with some cd or dvd player connected to home stereo or tvs the next one is with cd and cd oblique dvd players this help you play your disc 
on any CD or DVD player comfortably. Let us select the second option with CD DVD player. The file explorer open with open up with an empty folder of CD or DVD drive. Then the third one, drag and drop the file in his in this empty space or copy. Paste the file here. After you have placed the file that you want to burn to the CD, click on click on the share share tab of the file explorer click on burn disk burn to disk follow the steps that follow and press eject the cd will be ready to be used anywhere so how we can say that why it is said that we burn a cd writing content in a compact disk or digital video disk is known as burning of cd or dvd cd or dvd drives use laser beams to burn the information into the cd or dvd hence it is termed as burning now moving forward to the next question why 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 what is the button configuration property of the mouse what is the button configuration property of the mouse the button configuration property of the mouse all of you know that the mouse having three buttons the mouse having a three buttons uh, left button right button and the scroll bar so there are three buttons in a mouse so let's talk about that one so wait for that You also know that sometimes whenever you are going to use a mouse, you also know that mouse having three points. Yes, all of you know that because you all have worked with that configuration of mouse. Yes, so what is the button configuration property of the mouse? So first of all, we'll talk about the configuration configuration means which are already configured means which are already which one is already designed by the system by itself whenever we are going to purchase anything from the market they are configured by default they are configured if you want to do some changes on that we have to change the settings of that one that for example whenever we are going to purchase a laptop from the market what had happened we have a background of the laptop desktop background we have we have the mouse pointer over there by default it's arrow key if you want to change the mouse mouse picture we can so this one is the configuration which is by default if you want to configure it uh, for example whenever we are purchasing a car or bike from the market what had happened the siren is auto installed from the market but if you want to change it we can so like that configuration of date and time when a new computer laptop is purchased the date and time are configured automatically all of you know that whenever you are going to purchase a mobile phone automatically the date and time is configured open the control panel if you want to configure it if you want to change it what you have to do is you have to open the control panel in the category view click on clock language and reason click on set the time click on set the time because you want to change the change the time set the time and date under the date and time heading the date and time dialog box opens up click on the change date and time of button whenever you are going to click on that automatically what happened the date and time setting dialog box appears automatically change the date and time desired and click on ok after changing it then click on ok button configuring a mouse let's talk about the question what is the what is the button configuration property of the mouse configuration config configuring the mouse to change the settings of the mouse if you want to change the settings of the mouse like what do you have to do first of all open the control panel in the category view click on the hardware and sound 
click on mouse under the device says and printer heading devices and under the devices and printer heading here you have to click right here mouse is written then after the mouse property dialog box appear automatically you get this type of property if you want to if you want to uh, change the speed of the mouse you have to drag this one the mouse property dialog box appear automatically right so button configuration button configuration we usually usually what happen usually we use the left button of the mouse for the click of double click functions the right click is used to display the property and other functions of the component of the computer screens if we select the checkbox of the switch primary and secondary if you want to change the settings we can through the switch primary and secondary buttons the function of the left button will be performed by the right button and vice versa whatever the functions are going on through the left mouse button it configured as a right and the right mouse button through the left button so it get changed whenever we are going to do the changes on the settings the function of the left button will be performed by the right button and the vice versa change this settings only if you are a left handed person only at that particular time period when we are the left handed person because left handed person having a difficulties of this because they are not habitual about this person and uncomfortable in operating left handed person and uncomfortable in operating the normal functions of the mouse so this one is the configuration of the button double click speed we we double click over a folder to open it and even display some programs if you want to open any folder we have to double click on that double click over a folder over a folder to open it and even display some program we can increase or decrease speed of double click we can increase or decrease the speed of double click of the mouse as well if we drag the slider towards slow we can take a large time gap between the two clicks of the mouse if we want if we drag if we drag the slider towards fast we have to be very quick very quick with the two clicks of the mouse it is advised to keep it in the center from comfortable use of the mouse so this one is about the configuration of the mouse if you want to uh, what is the configuration property of the mouse if you want to change then we can so these are the method through which we can change the configuration of the mouse itself this one only at that particular time period whenever you are in a left handed so the answer is what so the answer is what is the button configuration property of the mouse the button of the mouse for the click and double click functions the right click is used to the right click is used to display the properties and other function of the components of the computer screen if we select the check box of the switch primary and secondary button the functions get change and then the next question what does what does the customized list of mouse pointer display what does the customized list of mouse pointer display i show you this one like this the default pointer of the mouse is the arrow the default pointer of the mouse is the arrow when we move the pointer on the screen we can see the arrow moving window offers us to change the pointer if you want to do the changes on the pointer we can right so the default pointer of the mouse is the arrow when we move the pointer on the screen we can see the arrow moving window offers us to change the pointer we can see the list of different type of pointers with the 
respective window operations in the customized list. If you want to change, change then we can. If you want to change it, we can. How? The default pointer of the mouse is the arrow key. When the mouse, when the when we move the pointer on the screen, we can see arrow moving. Window offering us to op other options also, which we can use as pointer to change the pointer. Switch to the pointer tab of the mouse property dialog box. We can see the list of different type of pointers with their respective window operations in the customized list. Select the pointer type you want to change from the from this list. Click on the browse button. A window appears which display the different pointers available. Select the pointer type of choice, whatever you want. Click on open button. We can see a new pointer shapes instead of the original pointer in the customized list. Click on the apply button. When all changes are done, click on OK button. It turned back the original pointer. Then click on use default, whatever you want. Then the last question. Why the last question? Why, why is the disk cleanup necessary? Why the disk cleanup is necessary? Disk cleanup, all of you know that the disk cleanup, this is a software utility that allow user to remove files that are no longer needed and can be safely deleted. Disk cleanup is a software utility that allow user to remove files that are no longer needed. So let's talk about in a deep what is disk cleanup? Why we are using this one? Uh, so I'm telling you in brief. So wait for a moment. I checked it out. You also disk cleanup. So here is the detailed information regarding disk cleanup in page number 25. If you have a book, you have you have to check it out from that side. So disk cleanup is what suppose you are working on the important project of your computer and uh, when you save your work a message flash that there is no space in the computer hard disk to save your work the best way to avoid to low space drive message is to increase the capacity of the hard disk or delete unwanted files because if you're not going to delete the unwanted file but it happened the say the space is not available over there in addition to your files there was also temporary files some temporary files are also generated by the computers automatically download program files offline web pages etc which occurs significant space on the hard disk without your knowledge if we can we can delete though these files and free the memory using the disk cleaner feature of windows now it happens nowadays what had happened you also having this type of problem because so many messages are coming in the whatsapp so what had happened sometime you get an error message that uh, you don't have a space in your mobile phone you have to delete some files from your mobile you have this type of messages in your mobile phone so what you are going to do you are going to clean that through the disk cleanup so in addition to your files there are also temporary files downloaded program files offline web pages etc which occupied specific space on the hard disk without your knowledge we can delete these files and free the memory using the disk cleanup feature of window disk cleanup disk cleanup is a Microsoft software utility that allow user to remove files that are no longer needed and can be safely deleted. If we don't want that uh, files, what we have to do? We have we are going to delete the files, remove files that that are no longer needed and can be safely deleted. Removing unnecessary files, removing unnecessary files including temporary files can help to speed up the improve improve the performance of the computer that's why disk cleanup is very necessary because after deleting the un, uh, unnecessary file including temporary files uh, it helps 
speed up speed up the computer and improve the performance of the computer so that's why it's very necessary how to disk clean up to run the disk clean up click on start select window administrative tool click on disk clean up the dialog box of disk clean up opens up select the drive and click on ok and automatically what had happened your disk is going to be clean yes so it happens it's very necessary for this so this one is all about this chapter so all of you have to note it down the question and answers in your classwork notebook then after send it to me in my personal whatsapp number okay so thank you have a nice day take care yourself